The Bristol University females, in Prince Harry's opinion, are very fit. According to reports, Prince Harry also spent the evening at Stokes Croft's infamous Lakota nightclub. In his recently released autobiography, Spare, Prince Harry shares tales from both his early life as a prince and his life as a non-prince. Harry remembers talking to his caretaker at Eton College about his college options in Chapter 38 of the book, and he mentions that the University of Bristol is one school he is considering to study the history of art. But he chose this course because many gorgeous girls took this topic at the university, not because it was academically superior. Unfortunately, Prince Harry and his guardian decided that college wasn't the best fit for him, so he was never able to experience what it was like to be a Bristol student and consume his whole body weight in VKs at Fishies or Bed Mondays every week. Prince Harry has already interacted with Bristol. According to reports, Prince Harry enjoyed a night out in Stokes Croft's notorious Lakota nightclub in 2007. According to reports, Prince Harry shelled out £12 to see French DJ Etienne de Crecy at a Bristol University event put on by first-year students to benefit the charity for dementia. There are no documented pictures of Prince Harry at the event because there were no smartphones back then, but sources claim to have seen him partying there with his friends. He also missed his previous caretaker's planned reunion at Eton the following day because of the night in Lakota, who was probably right that university wasn't the best choice for him. After Harry's assertions, Kate Middleton emphasizes the significance of emotional support for children. In his book, Spare, Prince Harry discussed his early years. Kate, Princess of Wales, recently spoke about the importance of emotional support for children under the age of five in order for them to develop into content and healthy adults. She went into this challenging discussion with TV personality and mental health advocate Roman Kemp, who opened up about growing up feeling extremely loved, before pointing out that it was a privilege rather than something given to everyone. The Duke of Sussex previously talked about his own childhood and the lack of emotional display he occasionally saw in his family. This conversation, which was shared earlier this week as part of the princess's promotion of her most recent early years campaign, Shaping Us, follows. When the Duke made an appearance in an episode of Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast in May 2021, he talked openly about what it means to be born into the firm. Harry compared his life as a royal to a cross between The Truman Show and living in a zoo. Following the Hollywood star's assertion that the Duke was the fifth in line responded. The biggest problem for me was that, being born into it, you inherit the risk. It was kind of like being cast into a movie without being asked. You are forced to inherit every component of it. Additionally, they feel that they own you because of the way the UK media operates. The Duke also spoke about wanting to break the cycle of genetic pain he inherited from his father King Charles during the same podcast, saying, I don't think we should be pointing the finger or blaming anybody, but certainly when it comes to parenting, if I've experienced some form of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure I break that cycle so that I don't pass it on, basically. Harry's memoir Spare, which was published in January, had a number of themes, one of which was his tense relationship with the media. In the book, the Duke of Sussex also discussed how the personalities, roles, and procedure of the firm's members affected the expression of emotions or lack thereof that he encountered there. Harry wrote on the heartbreaking moment when his father Charles broke the news of Diana, Princess of Wales passing. Pa did not embrace me. He wasn't very good at expressing his emotions in casual situations, so how could anyone expect him to do so in this situation?